Tonight I'd like to talk to you about the word woke. Um, what does this word mean? I'm sure you've heard it recently. Um, several years ago I got the idea that certain words and phrases were being thrust into the lexicon by means of media repetition over and over. Certain phrases which I felt were designed specifically to cause division and misery. Um, and so I had no idea how right I was at that time. So when we see a word like woke, we often don't think about what it really means. We think about what we think it means. And that's the problem. That's why we're under a spell. Because we think it's what we think it means rather than what it actually means. Um, and this word is a very good example. Um, if we put woke to our little calculator here, you will see that it has an ordinal value of 54 and a reverse value of 54. So that means that in an alphanum alphanumeric representation, A equals 1, it equals 54. And with the reverse alphanumeric representation, it also equals 54. So that's not easy to do. <laughs> if you think that's easy to do, I'd like to see you do it. Although, if you look at the numbers, you may have a clue on how to do something like this because 54 is a multiple of 27. Okay, so this is what I call a square word. This is a square word. Um, highly constructed word. Every single letter, every single number means something. So what does the word woke mean? Now that we've looked at some of its numerology, not all. Again, I could be here all night with just this one word, but I'll try to keep it short. So what does the word woke mean? Well, first we have to break the word down into pieces, okay? The way the English language works is that each letter represents a different concept. It actually, each letter represents a set of concepts, concepts which are related to each other, right? And then the other letters have their concepts, and then those concepts are set against one, one another numerically. It's all based on numbers. So what you have is, it's like a computer sequence where all the words that start with a certain letter or a certain combination of letters have a similar meaning. In this case, we have the woe prefix. So we already know what the woe means, right? That's the woman. The woman's work. The woman is worse. Um, the woman worries. The, <laughs> the woman is the world, right? The woman is the world, Mother Earth, okay? Worry, world, worm. Again, things that are associated with the Earth will be given feminine prefixes and things that are associated with low concepts or, you know, anything bad, negative, <laughs> fail, lose, down, <laughs> anything. All the negative words basically are associated with women. But you have to understand the philosophy with what makes a word negative, right? You can't just assume that a word is negative because you think it is. You have to actually analyze its true construct to see what it really means. Um, and of course, whoa, right? Oh, wow, don't forget wow, because wow is mom, right? And we'll come back to mom. But again, it's, it's about the woe, the woe man. <laughs> the woman is the woe to man, right? And then the man is, amen. <laughs> 
Get it? Man, amen. Men, man, amun ra. See, these are all language codes that are very, very old, going back a long way. And some of the meanings are very interesting. But the overall tenor of the language, of the concept, has not changed in thousands of years. And through all these various numeric computer languages. Kind of creepy. So you also got won't, right? <laughs> Will not, won't. <laughs> Wonder, right? The woman wonders and the man knows. One. One is a pun on own, right? Is a pun on one. How come O-N-E isn't pronounced like phone and clone and bone? It's pronounced W-O-N. Because the letter, or the, the number one, is closely related to the concepts of winning and ownership. <laughs> it's very infantile when you really get right down to it. Um, so we know what the woe is. What is the rest of the word? So the K is a word in and of itself, represented alphanumerically by 11, right? The Twin Towers, if you catch my drift. <laughs> so this is what I call a double L spell. You notice how the word spell has double L's? Spell, hell, cell. So many, think how many words have that double L. Cell, cell, cell. <laughs> sell yourself and get in a cell, you know, or you're going to have your cells. <laughs> so these are double L spells. And there's no more powerful and destructive double L spell than this one. The kill spell, right? So this is a letter that represents a word. K is kill. You know, 11 is kill. So when you get into the symbolism of 11, it is, of course, the Twin Towers. So what are we doing? We kill the woe. <laughs> what are we killing? What are we, what are we always taking action against in the English language? Right? All actions are taken against er. You're a worker, you're a driver, you know, you're a runner. All actions are taken against er, right? So, woke, you kill the woe, and then there's the E. The E is, of course, feminine, right? It's a feminine. Right, and then, but in the reverse alphabet, it's right. So they're inverse, E V, Eve. Right, <laughs> the the alphabet is actually based on Adam and Eve. You deny reality, but it's just true. So woke is a kill Eve spell. Spell, <laughs> and there are so many of them. <laughs> Kill is a kill Eve spell, really. The whole, <laughs> the whole alphabet is a kill Eve spell. I mean, look at the letter H, alphanumerically represented as hate. <laughs> I'll, we'll do that one later. So, but then that's just one spell. Every word like this has many, many spells crammed into it. There's an okay spell in here. Oops. Right, what's the okay spell? That is something I'll come back to another time. But that is another spell. It's another numeric spell in the English language. The English language is all spells. Right? 
Okay, KO, knockout. What about, we got O in there, right? Okay. <laughs> right, what about Ewok? <laughs> Ewok, it's starting with that feminine E. So Ewok is a feminine concept. Uh, I, concepts associated with nature are a feminine, right? O is a feminine letter as well, right? What else? Um, eco, ecow. Get it? How the cow, you know, is associated with feminine. Eco, e cow. <laughs> right? If you keep coming back to these concepts and some of the other concepts that I haven't shown you yet, you almost can't go wrong. Um, because it's all about this. It's all about trying to dominate nature. You know, when I said the war on women, you know, n knowing what I know now, it's really not the war on women. It's the war on mama. <laughs> because by the time they became woe, woe men, right? Right? If once you've gone to being a woe man, you're already, you know, when mama became a woe man, it's, it's too late now. You know, we're already, we're already in the cage. Um, but it, it's a war on mama and the war on mama continues. Well, even if we're, we are slaves because that will never stop. Their insecurity towards nature will never stop. Uh, so there you go, some spells in Woke. It is a kill spell. It's a nasty kill spell. And it's a spell caused to di cause division. You know, it's about causing division. What does the double L spell symbolize? The double L symbolizes the two right angles, right? Let's see if I can find a little symbol for this. No, I don't have one. But it's basically, just basically visualize if you could flip that second L around, right? You're creating the square. You're creating the cube. It's all about cubism. It's all about cubism, squaring the circle, creating the prison, the prison walls, the wall, double L spell. So you're surrounded by walls when you're in your cell. And your own self <laughs> is a, a cell. Your cells are your prison. Your self is your prison. So yeah, I guess that's enough for today. Um, yeah, Stay woke. It's the Great Plague.